Mario communicates with patients suffering from dementia. He can talk to them, he plays music and provides them with daily news. How and to what extent is that possible? To answer those questions, researchers are testing him at care centers like this one in Ireland. The assistive robot is meeting Mary. She's 83. Two years ago, she was diagnosed with severe dementia, but Mario is able to somehow wake her memory. With people with dementia, they might not remember some of the immediate daily activities, but they remember all the words to these types of songs that they remember from their youth. Um, and it, it's really something nice to see and it really brings them happiness. If they have musical lights or um, there's lots of things you can do like, and it helps them to get to talk and they're, you know, once they see you they're, um, they're amazed with what it can do and what it's capable of doing. Like. The impact of dementia can be prevented or at least mitigated by simple changes in self-perception and brain stimulation. This is basically Mario's role. Researchers say the project's been a technical challenge. So something as simple as choosing whether to play music or select a genre. These extra questions are often challenging for someone with dementia. So what we thought was very simple when we went and tested initially we found out could be actually quite difficult for someone with dementia. So this was an iterative process. So we first came up with a design, tested it out, and realized that it might be too complicated. So we went back, talking with the software engineers to modify these options to make it more simple and easily usable for people with dementia. Hello. Hello, Mario. Yeah. Mario was developed by scientists at a European research project and has been tested on dozens of patients. Uh, I can't remember, for instance, what time of the day it is or uh, what time I need to go for my breakfast or at what time I need to go to the toilet, this machine would uh, let, allow me to relate to it and then I would hopefully get back information that would allow me to then do what I wanted to do. Researchers acknowledge robots will never substitute human care, but they say machines can at certain moments address loneliness or isolation associated with dementia. We have one gentleman with really quite severe um, dementia and he would spend his day walking along the corridors and not really engaging or interacting with anybody. And with Mario using his games application, this man would actually sit down and use a, a painting application and he actually sit and paint for 40 minutes. Those behind the project say the technology is almost ready for Mario to become a market reality in five to six years. It may come before that because technology is actually, the speed at which innovations are happening are very, very quick now. So it could happen before that. But it does require more fine-tuning before it can hit the market. Roll, sing along, sing along.